So tell us about your D-Now weekend last year. I've been in ministry for a long time. I've never seen something go this terribly. It was my first year running a solo ministry and I really wanted to do a good job. And maybe it was my pride, but I didn't want to ask for any help. That was my first mistake. I worked in student ministry for a decade. I wish he had come to me. I would have helped him or gotten him resources. So many things were forgotten. So a lot of things fell through the cracks. Like what? Well, for starters, I, I never made sleeping arrangements. One night, there was no dinner. Then for a session, it was obvious. He was making up the sermon on the spot. I, th I thought this was a great idea. It, was, it gave him freedom and options. But for our game day, I, I just gave him a bag of different balls from the rec center, dumped them on the field, and told him to come get me if someone got hurt. I was one of the volunteer small group leaders. Now, I have a master in divinity and a doctorate of theology, mind you, and I could not even follow his lessons. But this year, things are a lot better. After how bad last year's D now went, I, I came to terms and I asked for help. And now I get it with event resources by Wine 360. They helped with so much of the prep, the lesson plans, and even the sermon outline. And checklists. Thank God for the checklist. I'm really proud of how well the scene now has won. I know asking for help can be hard. Asking for help can be hard, but because of event resources by YM360, I was able to have a D now that was memorable for the right reasons. It actually jump started our fall and winter ministry season. So when you forgot to make sleeping arrangements, what happened? Oh, uh, well, I, I decided to have an impromptu all-nighter, um, and I can honestly say I've never had a worse experience in my life.